the students on our undergraduate courses get a lot of practical experience within labs, so they do a lot of physiological labs, they do biomechanics labs, sports psychology labs, but they also get a lot of practical experience working in the sports hall, in the swimming pool, working with local primary school kids who we bring in, so they're not just coaching their mates on the course like a lot of places do, and they get a lot of practical experience outside of the programme as well, so they can do uh, placements within professional sports clubs, within health promotion settings, and they get a really lot of good hands-on experience. We have the pedagogy um, experience where the local primary schools come in and we will teach children in this um, area teaching athletics, teaching quick sticks hockey to local primary uh, children. In terms of biomechanics modules, we have practical experience where they will come and take measurements in the sports hall and go back to the lab and um, use the data. We have lab spaces for exercise physiology, strength and conditioning, biomechanics and performance analysis. And those labs are full of sophisticated equipment. And, and really importantly, we make sure our students get to use all of that equipment. So. The modules that students do, they can expect to have at least half of their time using those bits of equipment in those labs. We think that's really important because those are the kind of skills that students are going to have to go on and do as part of their jobs. So they can, they can really walk the walk, if you like, when they, they finish their degree. They can take the practical measurements that they'll need to. I've had access to amazing facilities, especially the physiology and the biomechanics lab. And as we have such small practical class sizes, I've not only been able to be a participant in the studies, but also act as a researcher as well. Well, obviously we've got the um, we've got sports hall there, down sports hall. We've also got the um, mugger as well, the AstroTurf. Um, you know, I've got a few peers themselves that use the biomechanics labs. It, it helps get practical experience because, you know, in my future, you know, um, employment, you know, I'm looking to get into um, the sports like football coaching side so um, it really helps because I can obviously get the players here to um, you know experience what I want to teach them in the future. One of the key selling points of our undergraduate programmes is we have always five hours of availability from staff which students can sign up to and we provide an awful lot of support through the actual teaching of the programme so every single assignment we, we before the assignment is due we'll put on a uh, assignment preparation session for the students we always record those as well so the students can go back to it. On top of that we, we Put on, on a number of support sessions for our students because on, on the Sport and Exercise Science programme in particular there's, there's math skills that are required but also writing skills. The really good thing about those is we put those on using postgrad students of our own who not too long ago have been in those students' situations so they can kind of talk it, at it more authentically. I felt very supported during my time here at Chester and I found whenever I have had any queries or any questions my lecturers have been very quick to respond with thorough answers. Another great opportunity I've had while studying at Chester is that I've been able to be a learning facilitator and what that involves is teaching the first year students kind of basic maths and helping them with their graphs and assignments and that's really helped me as I want to be a teacher and it gives me more experience with that age group with explaining and helping them. In addition, we are really lucky at the University of Chester insofar as we can signpost students to our academic skills department who can proofread work, give tips on writing, give tips on referencing and the like. When our students join us we assign them a PAT which is a personal academic tutor, a bit like a form tutor when you're in a secondary school um, and that person acts as a, a really important point of contact so any issues that the student may have, um, well-being, finance, accommodation, academic work, the student has someone to go to, to to speak to. We also have a wellbeing officer, which is myself, because we found, especially recently, that students may have issues that they need to discuss um, in private and they need to be signposted to student services. Yeah, so I've, um, I've been supported quite a lot by my Pat Paul. Um, you know, any work that I need help with, any advice, I can always go to him. Any, you know, not just that, but outside of uni as well, I can always go to my Pat's if anything's affecting me on any day. Being a student rep as well, obviously my classmates here, they always come to me with advice or, you know, this is what we like to change, this is what we like to do. And then I'll just, you know, ask Paul for advice on that and then hopefully I'll take it up. The learning environment here is fantastic, you know, it's a very friendly atmosphere, you know. Um, I'm currently doing work placement with the UDA, the um, University Degree Abroad, which is like a soccer school for many American students and also like Mexican students that come over. Um, they mainly practice on football and things like that and that's the environment I want to go into in the future so it's offered me a really good insight into what it's going to be like in the future. Our undergraduate courses are normally have really good graduate outcomes and that doesn't just mean they get jobs, they get the kind of jobs they want 
and invariably the kind of jobs that our students want are in sport, sport performance, sport promotion, but also in health and health promotion and the like as well. And the actual programme we develop, whilst it's academic, also has some significant vocational elements to it. So there's great opportunities to do placements as part of the degree, but we also put on extracurricular placements and sometimes you can be working at professional sports clubs. Not always necessarily in your sport, but one thing you'll find in professional sports clubs is if you've worked within a professional sport environment, other professional sports value you more and think you can cut it because it's a different kind of working environment. And the key thing about our programmes is they, they are all graduate oriented insofar as we, we do tell our students that they've got to complete assessments, but we tell them how those assessments are actually meeting grad, key graduate skills. <laughs>